what happens when you put together the pipe technique with which we did the extreme chair and the glass cutting technique with which we did the no Gucci table and we put it together? The answer is an Ellie Lee Parker table. This designer became super popular in like a glimpse. I'm sure you saw her lamps all over Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, everywhere. And today we're gonna recreate one of her most complicated pieces. That original piece is made out of ceramics. And if you see me in Italy trying to do pots, you know that it's really not the case. I made a cup with a hole. So I decided there's an alternative and I'm gonna show you a super easy way not to making your entire apartment dirty and not needing very huge and complicated equipment for doing pottery to do the same piece. We are gonna be using pipes again. This time you need a cross piece to attach all the legs together at once, four corners, and I bought one super long leg that I'm gonna cut into smaller chunks so to make the height of the table. First step is to measure the height of the corners so that we know that we have to take this height away from the length of the table. I would say it's around 10 centimeters. Actually, it's eight. Okay, so eight centimeters less. A coffee table is normally tall around 40 centimeters and that's why I calculated 40 minus eight that we already have of the curve, 32 centimeters. And that's what I marked all over the leg. And to make a perfectly straight line, you just keep your marker still and turn the pipe on itself. That's how you know that you're drawing a straight line instead of having to use complicated mechanism. You see, the hand and my marker is still and it just turn the pipe around. To make the hole in the pipe, you make a little massage with the jigsaw on the side till you create a tiny hole in which you can put your blade inside. Like this. Do -do -do -do. You go inside and finally you can cut your pipe all straightly inside. And we're gonna end up having four legs for our table. Such a great job. Mangino! Ciao! Okay, we have our four legs back all together and you are gonna end up having the borders that are all ugly, clean them a little bit and you're ready. And if you're thinking, because they're not even straight and they're not perfectly identical, well, you're right. That means you are smart. But the point is that it doesn't matter because we are gonna completely cover them now. So it doesn't really matter if the shape on the top is perfectly straight. And especially, we are gonna insert the cutted edge inside this pipe. So this means that this one is gonna eat the ugly spot. And that's why, like in every tutorial I do, if you're not amazing at cutting, if you're not amazing with your hands, it still doesn't matter. You still can do this tutorial. Last time you saw me putting glue basically everywhere in the connections between the pipes, but this time it's not important because the gravity goes in the right direction. So this means that when we are gonna put the weight on the top, this is just gonna compress it even more. That's why we don't need glue at all. We just need to insert a pipe inside the other one. And we're gonna use the same trick as last time. Just add a little bit of oil on the edge of it. Da -da 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 -da. To make it slide inside way easier. And then put it inside our pipe. Imagine if I didn't use the oil. Let's do it with all of them. Yeah, sometimes it happens that they just get stuck and they do not want to connect and you're gonna have to put all the effort and the strength in the world. But let's say that usually the oil technique just works and you, you just place it inside and it works. So we're gonna do this four times and once you have all four of your legs, always clean away the little ugly things you did while cutting. Once you have four of these ones, we are gonna connect all of them to the X and the cross connection in the middle. So you're gonna literally see the legs appearing in front of you. We're gonna use the same technique, wet it a little bit with oil and connect it directly in a cross shape.
Day number two, I'm literally in my pajama and we're ready to do some crafty activity for the night. I positioned this on some plastic. I do not know if it's gonna stain or not, but I just wanna avoid it. And this is what we're gonna cover it in. It's called das. I suppose it's also, also oh, soap in English, but I'm not sure about that. But we're just gonna go open them. I bought a bunch of packages and cover the entire surface of our pipes. Open one package at a time because I'm telling you, this thing dries quickly. Huh. To dry it completely takes all overnight, but to dry a segment and so that you cannot connect one to the other one, it dries, it dries kinda quick. You're not gonna be able to work with it. I tried to make the first time just got a bunch of it and squashed it on top of the pipes to make it as flat as it could. We wanna make this as flat as possible because we don't wanna use 20 billion packages. It's just to cover and not showing the pipes, but we want it really thin. We don't need thickness. We already have enough stability just with the pipes itself. Super duper duper important is to go inside every single little edge. So all these curves and places where the two legs intersecate together, they are very hard to reach. So you're gonna go and push inside with your fingers as good as you can. Guys, a little trick that you can use is wetting your fingers inside a little bit of water and it's gonna make this so much easier to move and smooth around without creating these cuts that were happening to me with my dry hand. I'm gonna figure it out later in the tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But yeah, just push it inside with your fingers, be really careful and try to make it as even as possible. We don't want to see the real texture of the pipe under, we want to be seeing an entire flat surface, surface around it. Okay guys, you're gonna see me go around and flatten it even more. At a certain moment, I even had to turn it upside down to the insides because it was very hard to reach with my hands. Fast enough, I understood that the best technique was actually to open and use the dust, flattening it inside my hands to make a sort of flat pizza and then wrap it around my pipe. This way, I didn't have to put too much pressure, pressure on the pipes and it was a lot of easier to put it also inside the edges and to make it as smooth as possible. Um, and here you see me flattening it inside or in between the hands, also in smaller chunks. And then you're gonna see me now taking out the water. So this step is very important because it's gonna take you a lot of time to do the entire leg. So sometimes you have to wetten the surface of your pipe. So you see me now, I'm gonna take out a cup, just dip my fingers inside the water so that it's a lot easier to move it around and to connect the different pieces of dust that you're gonna connect every time you can do it all at once. I know, I know, this process is long, but I'm telling you it's not stressful at all. Actually, it's relaxing. You can put Siri, you can put your music, and just go ahead as a music activity or a hobby. Let's do it. Let's talk about the glass. You have to buy one of these twirly things from, uh, I bought it from Amazon, I'll leave the link down below. And basically what it does is stick this in the middle of the glass and then you start turning this around, creating a perfect circle. As you can see on the bottom, this has, that's a go. I was saying, as you can see, this has a little, little, little tiny knife on the bottom of it. So while you're turning it, it's gonna leave a mark on your glass. And after, exactly as I did in this video over here, you can bump the glass a little bit till it breaks apart. Go and watch this video if you want to do it at home. Option two, you go to a store that's gonna cap the glass for you if you're lazy. <laughs> That's it. Whatever you decide to do, you have to end up with a circular glass frame that now we're gonna put on top of our base and the table is done.